Hey guys, I have M248 here, and welcome to part 2 of Ultimate Chip Dot The first level today is Sako Block 2. So let's get started and. Um. Okay. I was expecting the chips to be under blocks, but. No, kid me thought hiding the chips in places you're likely to step anyway was cool. Let's just take care of these blocks one at a time. There were 16, so this is going to take a while, and I screwed myself. I did it again. <laughs> yeah, block pushing. I think that's everybody's favorite thing to do in this game. Not. It's... It gets kind of tedious. I don't know what that random block is for, but knowing me, it probably has a use. I don't know what that use is right now. So, four chips left, and about, I think that's half done with the blocks, too. No, one more, and then we're halfway. Uh, that's the one I left behind. Yeah. I have no clue what the rest of this level is going to be like. Like, I don't remember this one at all. I'm just pushing blocks randomly because why not? Four blocks to go. Then we're into whatever the next room is. And come on, if I was going to use invalid tiles, couldn't I have at least had the uh, decency to stick ice under the, the water tiles to get you there faster? <sighs> One last block. Then we'll see what's that, what that other room is about. Alright, so there's nine blocks in an X. Two of them are on the top row, so I'm just going to assume I need to take them over here. So seven more blocks, and that should be it for the level. At least this is much shorter than On the Rocks, which is generally the go-to comparison for boring, easy, tedious levels. Though, it doesn't exactly have that much more going for it. Alright, three more blocks, and there's a pathway. That block on the bottom is completely useless, it looks like. Last block. <laughs> which would be uh, right there. So this should be about it. Exit should be down the path. Maybe one more small little block pushing thing. I don't know. Cleverly placed to have that opening room out of view. What? You expected an exit down here? Really? Really? Really, kid me? You thought that was a good idea? Really? It's not even under the block? Really? Really? Uh, mini colony. Okay. I don't think I liked Colony as a kid. In fact, I know I didn't. So I don't know why I would make a level based on it. But I did. Uh... Random Buried Key.
I really should just expect that by now. Bummer. That was that was pretty smart. I have to admit. Through the green key. I shouldn't have gone for that. But I didn't die, so it's all okay. What's back this way? Oh! That looks like an exit. Doesn't look like these buttons do anything now. Alright, so this is just going back and forth. Nothing to. At least during this part, I was nice enough to only leave uh, one of each kind. It looks like the teeth were at trap, so either I forgot to connect the buttons, or I've got controller boss glitch issues. Alright, three chips, I can see them all. I can see the socket up there. So, almost done with the level. Wow, I got to run pretty far there, without having to wait. Alright, that's all the chips. Those teeth are definitely trapped, so... I honestly don't know if it's controller boss glitch or... Um... Might be controller boss, might be something else, might just be I forgot to connect the traps. Okay, that, I guess that's what's cloning the teeth? That looks pretty cool. Okay, yeah, that looks like if you bothered to clone teeth, or let the cloned teeth get released, you, you could go over there through the teleport. I don't know what I was thinking with that, but the level worked. Uh, off to war. So I would have had to go trigger the tanks again, but I did not have to. Because monster order. Minor difference. Uh, escape from high security. Well, that's interesting. Oh, down there's the exit. So all the teeth die, and I can just run straight from place to place, so that's a simple level. Giant stick robot. All of the accessible blocks are needed. What if I say I don't want to? Because I don't. I don't know why I created this level if I was just going to do that. And fake exit, of course. Of course, that was a uh, absolutely brilliant idea. So I don't know why I would admit, like, I remembered the uh, hidden flippers from when I created this because I did not like long, boring block pushing levels. But, you know, I made this anyway. So I remember that I hid flippers, and as a result of hiding those flippers, you can just run back and forth like this. It still takes five seconds to cross the uh, length of the... No, six seconds, because it's five moves per second. So it still takes a long time to complete, and it's still kind of tedious, but it's at least not long, boring, block-pushing tedious. So I guess this level shouldn't exist but I was nice enough to not force the massive block pushing. So, blob target. 
looks like we've got um, two blobs in each section, and eventually they'll let you blow up the chips, or blow up the bombs to let you get the chips, and just walk straight to the exit. Um, war part one, bomb strike. Okay, that's actually a pretty cool pattern. Like, that pattern's awesome. It's really simple to create it, but, like, it works well as a gameplay thing. Oh, there's nothing there? Ah, there's the exit. Thought for sure the exit would be under the socket. Or part two, bug infestation. Bummer. Well, that was smart. So it looks like you just have to wait for both of those. And this. Oh, what was I thinking? Let's interrupt them just because. And we'll take this block with me. I probably don't need it, but it can't hurt to have. Alright, this is going to cause... A, actually, this is going to make a mess right here. I need to do that. Okay, eventually this should settle down and just let me walk out, I hope. I don't actually know. This, I, I kind of broke this area. And not in a good way. I uh, should have just. Oh my. Okay, at least I have. Okay, I made it through and I have fire boots. I probably shouldn't have done that, but the results were sufficiently entertaining, so I don't really care. Oh, wait, I've got to go back. I care again. I, all right, that, I guess it settled down a lot. So, bug infestation was pretty fun. Uh, the glider gun. The fire boots under these chips? No. Oh, oh there's fire boots. Okay, we'll just grab all the chips. Wait one more cycle, and... Bummer. <laughs> of course, of course, the row I choose to take has a glider in it. What are the odds? Over. The odds are actually 100%, but... Come on. <laughs> it's kind of a coincidence. Over. Why did I think I could get through that gap? I know you can't. <laughs> Must... Resist urge to optimize. Or, you know, I can just try to optimize. Oh! War part four, the teeth chamber. Oh, hey, fire. The teeth are all stupid and just die. Well, this isn't boring at all. Uh, no teeth left, so I can just walk straight to the uh, chips, and I'm guessing, yep, yeah, exit's up here. So, War Part 5, Return of the return of the Blobs. Okay, blobs. I like blobs. You like blobs. We all like blobs. They're totally the best monster in the entire game, and CC1 Blobs Edition is the best chips challenge set to ever exist. Yep, totally. I wonder... Would CCLP3, like, even function if you replaced all the monsters with blobs? Uh, War Part 6, fire. Looks like there's extra chips. Yeah, there's a lot of extra chips. And easy level. War Part 7, tank attack. Oh, that, 
This looks interesting. This is definitely interesting. I need to hit the toggle. And one more tank. Whoa, that was not smart. Actually, wait, did I even need to do that? Yeah, I did need to do that. Those buried thin walls. Those very thin walls. Very thin walls actually do offer uh, a lot of uh, design options. War Part 8, The Monster's Last Stand. Uh, that's kind of chaotic. Wonder. Okay, what's through the teleport? Bummer. Okay. Uh, I... Okay. I figured there was something of interest there. I saw teeth, and then I panicked. I could... I probably could have teleported back. Oh, no, I guess not. It takes you somewhere else. Bummer. Um... Okay, I just got the rare bug that happens Bummer. sometimes when I'm playing Tile World. Uh, the last button I was holding, the game acts as though I was still holding it down. So it was acting like I was holding down, so I could not move there. Alright, I have a plan. Bummer. And it involves getting killed. I probably should have died there, but, you know, one in three odds of the walker, right at the beginning of the level. Who really cares? Let's see, what's around all these... What's around the bugs, anyway? And I'll explore through the teleport some more after. Alright, so that's... So this just shows me the teeth and the exit area. Okay. So nothing of interest, just a tour of the level. And that's just gonna keep taking me back there. Okay, I got out of there alive this time. Uh, MS only. Okay, so that's War Part 8. A 64 tile level. Yep, buried thin walls. Gotta love them. Oh. There's, pro There's gotta be a better way to do that level. That's faster, but, you know, pretty simple little design. Oh, hey, it's Recess. This is the one level I have in an official Tips Challenge set. Uh, it's, I think, level 35 in CCLP3. Not sure how, since it is kind of simple, but I, and CCLP3 as a whole is not very simple, but, you know. doesn't really matter too much. Like, it's in the set, and I'm pretty happy about that. Anyway, someone call an exterminator. Boring. <laughs> Test control. Oh, hey. Oh. That's not cool. That's not cool at all. Okay, don't touch that button. Simple enough. And random double chip. What's in the teleport? Nothing of interest. Okay. And some more random double chips. Because, you know, those are amazing design.
I guess now I just have to wait for the uh, controller boss thing to work. Oh, that's what the teleport's for. It'll let me go, uh, be over here. I don't know how many bugs I need. I should... I can always shut it down, but I can't start it back up if I do so. Yeah, okay, so that's the last bomb. Once that bomb is gone, I think I... Actually, once that bomb disappears, uh, this one, I think I'm going to... Uh, let's see, how many will be left at that point? It looks like there will be about nine left once that bomb is gone. So I can start counting bugs there. This is exciting. Oh, bombs are starting to blow up that are visible. So by my count, there's... One... Two... Three... Actually, this is not easy to count. So, seven more bugs. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Last bug. And there's an extra bug, but he's going over there. So if I'm correct, he's stuck in a loop. We need one more bug anyway. So that just means I count it off by one. We'll just follow this guy in. Oh wow, time's almost up. Come on! Hurry up! Oh wait, I could have made it to the exit. I don't need them all to blow up. <laughs> oh, one second left. One second left. Slip. All right, level 38. Slippery floors. Yay! Random forest floors. Those are like everybody's favorite thing, right? I think I was nice enough to put extra chips in this level because I was bad at boosting. Oh wow, this is a messy room. Uh, yeah, it's okay. We'll get that chip now. That one, that one. Boost. Alright, that. So, third path is the way to the exit, or the way forward, I guess. Whoa! I guess I really liked random force floors. Because random force floors are good design. I want this chip! Come on, can you just give me the chip? I just want the chip! I... <laughs> Random four slurs, everybody. Okay, we got it, so now we just need to go through. Wait. Alright, we'll get the chip. And nifty little teleport sequence. Just 
So somehow I managed to find my way through this ice maze instantly. But, you know, I kind of want the chips. Because those are kind of important. Okay, I can get to this chip pretty easily. And by pretty easily, I mean if I could remember how I got places. Um, those other two are linked together. And, oh, duh. That's, oh, great. Now I have to find my way back to the, okay. I found my way back to the way out. Okay, that, was, that, this could be p potentially considered pretty mean. And it looks like another ice maze. Nothing wrong with ice mazes. And apparently I was way off. There's a lot of extra chips. And uh, suction boots and skates at the end to help you get more if you, you missed them. That's interesting. I definitely like that level. Okay, brain break one. Bold score. Brain break two. So, chip under all the water tiles. Nothing too bad. Uh, you'll be working day and night if it is a glider's paradise. Oh. So, the, um... Weird Al reference level. So, just going to use the block to direct the gliders to the into the bombs. Nothing too complicated. At this point, I'm basically assuming that there's dirt under all of the, there's chips under all of the dirt. And I seem to be Correct in that assumption. Yep. Uh, kidney. Bummer. I I was gonna have time to do another level, but with that death, I don't think so. Cause that's a pretty careless death. I don't like careless deaths. I should stop making them. So yeah, just simple repeating moves. And clears out a lot of the chips, directs the gliders to their inevitable doom. Pretty efficiently, too. Alright, that, that seems to be all the gliders doomed. Uh, ah, the fire boots are behind a socket, so we'll just grab the chips now. Hopefully, I'm pretty sure I have all the keys. In fact, I know I have all the keys. I just hope I didn't put any stupid traps under them. Alright, fire boots, tank button, and then that'll be that.
<laughs> for this episode, I think. Tanks are all dead because of all the fire. Which is interesting. It means this level just outright would not work in links. And... Alright, next time, starting off with Walkerville. Until then, thanks for watching, if you were. At least, if you're listening to this, I know you are watching, or at least skip to the end. I should probably stop overthinking this. <laughs> oh, well, hope you enjoyed.